Sir, so on behalf of all of us together who had uh, agreed to take up these four or five ministries, so I stand to initiate this discussion on the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Sir, broadly to set the terms for this discussion, in this ministry, sir, disabled, Mr. Shiva, OBCs, transgenders, scheduled castes, senior citizens. These are the broad if they are your name. Uh, groups which are covered in this ministry. But I would take the liberty of requesting the minister. I think a lot of us who will speak would believe that to have true social justice and empowerment along with these five or six groups which are very important a lot of the members would also talk about two other groups who are looking for social justice and empowerment they are the minorities as well as the women of this great nation so if that is the scope of the discussion sir through you I would like to request the minister to note the specific suggestions we give you on the first five and to be kind enough to carry our thoughts to the other two colleagues of yours or better still to bring your two colleagues tomorrow if possible for the second part of this discussion which we will end tomorrow. So the budget for this ministry is 6,500 crores. If you leave the minority out, if you leave the women of this country out and only take the five categories as has been defined in this ministry, there are about 90 crore people this covers for 6,500 crores. Sir, it comes to per person the measly minuscule sum of 50 paisa per person per month. So the first issue one wishes to, we need to all ponder over sir, is this 50 paisa per person per month enough or should we at least be taking it up to one rupee per paisa per month. So what I am suggesting is to double the budget from 6,500 crores to take it up to 13,000 crores. At the start of the discussion, sir, I would also thought I should say that when we talk about social justice, what are the terms of this distribution? The terms of the distribution could be used in three words, sir. M, money, O, opportunities, and P, privileges. Money, opportunities, and privileges. So all what we suggest need to fit into these three categories to make this a meaningful discussion. And does this ministry, or does social justice end with this ministry providing scholarships and building hostels? Can we take it beyond that and through this discussion over the next three hours we get the minister who has been here for about seven, eight, nine months so comparatively new to open his heart to open his eyes and most importantly to open his mind so I don't want to give you any political statement sir I will be making some points on each of these categories as we started off so let's start with a very specific Ram Gopal ji, the first one up mat jaiye, ye UP ka hi hai. Acha acha tab, ek 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 minute sunke jaiye. Because I am starting off with UP. Manual scavengers is also covered under this ministry. Manual scavengers, nahi. Manual scavengers is covered under this ministry. Now, nahi, kyunki manual scavengers mein, 11,000 manual scavengers hai, humara desh mein. These are not my figures, these figures also may be wrong, because this is your government figures. Out of 11,000 manual scavengers, हाँ मैं try करूँगा मैं हिंदी में fail करता हूँ बंगला में pass करता हूँ। तो UP में 11,000 जो हमारा manual scavengers है, UP में 10,000 manual scavengers, सारा देश में 11,000, UP में 10,000। मंत्री जी, ये budget था 480 करोड़ रुपया, ये manual scavengers to liberate the manual scavengers, to rehabilitate them and to take them away from this terrible job which they have. 
Mantri ji, you must look into this very seriously. The budget for national was 480 crores. Assume 80-90% would go to UP, which is 400 crores. On the 480 crores, sir, you have spent not 48 crores, not 24 crores, not even 1 crore. Zero. So if you want to seriously eliminate manual scavengers, please look at using this money which is there for this purpose. Sir. Hi. <laughs> sir. The Standing Committee also on this subject has a very effective suggestion which they made. We need to have an effective mechanism to reduce or eliminate manual scavenging. Sir, I started off with UP with a complaint. But let me also present an example which only happened last week and I am extremely proud of because this happened under the leadership of Mamta Banerjee in the West Bengal government. This is a true story. Has already passed in order. It is only you must always say subject to correction. You don't accept the sir, sir. Please, please, no, no interruptions. Tamil Nadu. No interruptions, please. And it don't disturb him. He is talking about his state. Sir, sir, sir. No, no, no. Now, if my, if my dear friends in the AIDMK, now they have become astrologers. I have not given my point, but they have already said Tamil Nadu has done this. Sir. Listen to my point. He is speaking about his state, that's all. This is, sir. So listen to the point. This is a very serious issue on Bangladesh. Don't interrupt. Now, this is not about Tamil Nadu or Bengal. This is about the United Nations. Last. <laughs> sir, we discussed that in great detail when we were talking about farmer suicides. So let's not get go there, okay? So. So, sir, let me just focus on this issue and not be distracted. Sir, Nadia district of West Bengal has been the first number one district in the country, not my ranking, by the United Nations. There are four, three and a half lakh toilets in that district. It has become the number one district in the country. Number one, last week, United Nations gave this award. And the, quick, the, the flip side of that is, when you have something like that, the manual scavenger level goes down or it becomes zero. Sir, this was shortlisted for a UN Public Service Award and since this, we are issue on the issue of manual scavenging. Sir, it's sir, not only a money issue, so I'm not only suggesting to you that you should give the UP and everyone else 480 crores, it's also a social issue. I'll share two social issues, again going back to Nodia. The school children there took an oath. Every school child in Nadia, school going child, took an oath. How much time do you want? Sir, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, of course, because I'm. Well, because Mr. Nachipan got 30 for law and justice. So if he got 30 for law and justice. But his party's time was more. For your party's time. Okay, 20 time. minutes. Please. Sir, what I'm speaking. Last time, the, earlier, I was speaking about net neutrality. That was all very thick. This is about people who are the, the lowest of the lowest. Yes, everyone has to. Right, so we don't speak. Stick on to Sir, so the first issue is the manual scavenging. So please look at this, because sometimes, even after you put up the toilets, we have done some research to find out that even after you put the toilets up, those toilets are not used for what they are supposed to be used. People store their rice, people store their wheat. So my limited point to the minister, 250 crores you spend on your advertising budget for the Swachh Bharat campaign. Fine, you want to spend 250. But if you want to spend 250 on an advertising budget, then you please spend 480 crores for the manual scavengers. Sir, let's come to the senior citizens, because we only have about six categories to go through. Senior citizens, sir, our country has been very proud. We've had a green revolution. We've had a milk white revolution. Sir, the Trinamool Congress proposes a grey revolution. And what is the basic concept of this grey revolution, sir? Currently, the senior citizen's budget allocated for this ministry is a minuscule 50 crores. And under the Indira Gandhi National Old Age Pension Scheme, if you're over 60 and you're living below the poverty line, you get 200 rupees a month. 200 a month. And you get 80 rupees, sorry, if you're over 80, you get 500. Sir, 
like the standing committee suggested, and let me reassert, this figure has to go up. Let me make a point here, sir. If, you are, if the figures you are giving out is 150 or 200 rupees, the cost to administer the scheme is working out to much more than what you are actually giving out. So the suggestion we make is increase what reaches the consumer so your cost of administering the scheme will come down. Let me also request the minister to remove the cobwebs of a paper lying there which was called the National Policy on Senior Citizens. That document is dated 2011. Doesn't matter whether the UPA2 brought it or A brought it or B brought it, but we think this, suggest this document is worth looking at. The National Policy on Senior Citizens. Because there, there are some very good specific suggestions made, so please, sir, consider. So the third group of people we're talking about, now this is a huge a very small number, but I think a lot of the speakers want to also speak about disability. I have lots of things to say, but I'm going to limit myself to just one point, sir, and that is the definition of disability under the current Act does not include autistic children or autistic men and women. Sir, my plea to the Minister through you, sir, is to please in the rights and persons with disability, this bill is pending in the Rajya Sabha. My party, the Trinamool Congress, will support you wholeheartedly. You please bring this bill and you make these changes in these disability uh, definitions and it's a step forward. So there are many other points on disability, but because of the lack of, uh, limited time, sir. Now let's come to two minutes I want to spend on transgenders. It's a coincidence that you're sitting on the chair, uh, Mr. Deputy Chairman. When you were here, you did a historic transgender bill, which has got passed in the Rajya Sabha. That's very, very good. And we have a bill, an act, I beg your pardon, an act in West Bengal, which was passed two, three months ago. Sir, maybe you could advise the states to bring up an act like this. Yes, Baba, Tamil Nadu also has. Yes. So, okay, okay. Amma made it. No. Oh, very good. Oh, Amma didn't make it, then Kani Modi's party made it. Okay, you all fight about that. But, but the interesting name for that, no, this is a serious issue. Let's, let's be serious on this. The interesting name, this is not a transgender welfare board. We believe transgender welfare board is not the solution. This is a transgender development board. There also are suggestions. I'm not getting into the merits but I would really like to hear the views of the BSP and so many other parties on this. There is a suggestion being made, we are open to listening to this, that the transgenders need to be put into a category. One of the categories suggesting is OBC. I am not opening that debate now. I am just giving you what the thought is. Sir, in the scheduled caste is the fifth category, sir. Scheduled caste, we have a unique scheme. All I am suggesting to you, sir, is like West Bengal had in the last three years this Kanyashri scheme which got UN approval. The scheduled caste boys, students get a lot of scholarships. Land vested with the government was distributed to landless people and all the land vested, 56% of the pattas was actually distributed to scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. So that is a scheme which is going very well. And the other one which I want to flag is the Shiksha Shri scheme. Shiksha Shri, which is the same as the Kanya Shri which goes to women, but the Shiksha Shri is for the scheduled caste. Sir, my limited and single point on the OBCs is, which I read in the paper this morning, seems to be fine, that the 6 lakh number, 6 lakhs, is pushed up for the creamy layer criteria and goes up to 10 lakh plus. Sir, this will help, we believe, fill the seats earmarked for OBCs, where from 6 lakh you go up to 10 lakh. I have many examples, again from West Bengal, about this, especially in the left-wing extremism areas, sir, but I will not dwell on it. Suffice to say that in the Jungle Mahal area, in 23 different left-wing affected blocks, there, the economic package apart, 
also had a practical uh, gift, if I may say, that is cycles, which empowered girls and boys especially to cycle. Sir, so I have covered the points which are traditionally listed under your ministry, but I want to just expand the discussion one minute each on two others which are not covered in your ministry, the minorities and the women. And as I said, with a request to take this forward. Sir, on the minorities, the Satchar Committee reported the Equal Opportunities Commission. Sir, that was about eight or nine years ago. So the proposed commission of the Satchar, basically the point being made in the Equal Opportunity Commission was that you will bring women, Dalits, tribals, disabled persons, minorities, all in a view so we could help everybody else. Now that Equal Opportunity Commission made these recommendations. There was a draft bill to the best of my knowledge which was made in 2007-2008 through you, sir, request the minister to pull the cobwebs out and to look at, take a look at this. So I'll end with uh, the last about the women because you cannot discuss social empowerment and social justice and empowerment without at least touching on the women. Sir, here the point is on the 33 and one third percent reservation and there's a lot of debate on that. Sir, we finished the municipal elections in Bengal last week. I don't want to remind you of the results. That would upset you. But at least let me tell you, 46... No, no. 46 percent of those... They are happy, they say. Okay. 46... 46 percent of the cooperators who were elected were women. So, if we want empowerment, we can get women elected. And 35.4 percent, 33 percent is the so-called reservation number we talk about in the women's reservation bill, 33 percent. The current average in the Lok Sabha is for women is a dismal 11 percent. I am happy to tell you my party is 36 percent women MPs in Lok Sabha. Sir, I have left you with these points to ponder over on manual scavengers, on senior citizens, on persons with disabilities, on transgenders, on scheduled castes, women, OBCs and minorities. Sir, I would urge you, after listening to all of my colleagues, to take this beyond the discussion. And maybe after one or two months, you come back to us, maybe not in the House, but in through some written form. We are giving you some suggestions. Please take that in the right spirit. I am sure you will. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you very much.